2023 has been a whirlwind. I left my two clinics in PA and transferred here in NV. Drove all the way from the East Coast to the West Coast, applied as a PRN acute dialysis nurse, was offered a position in the clinic and my previous VA employer when I was in the Philippines who is in Florida got in touch asking me to do some work for her. In short, I'm finally done with the adjustment era. So for 2024, I'm ready to lay and build the needed foundation as a dialysis nurse here in the U.S. <laughs> Hey nurses, Nurse Rooms here. I'm a Filipino dialysis nurse here in the U.S. and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all about dialysis and my journey towards this covering career. I have never shared any of my goals before because I'm afraid I might fail but I realize that's always part of the process and I want to tag you along. First goal invest in knowledge. I plan to get certified in dialysis nursing by February. <laughs> Too fast, huh? Yes, because my next goal is to get promoted. The clinical coordinator position is open and there are two of us who are gonna do the interview. So I'm silently doing my moves to have an edge. The other one has just been a dialysis nurse for more than a year, but even so, the certification would give me a final relief on top of my eight years experience. Next, invest in my physical health. My tasks here as a dialysis nurse are not really that heavy. I'm seen more on the computer than walking around and my body seems to get used to it since when I do even just priming machines, cleaning chairs, and sticking patients, oh my, I'm actually catching my breath and my vitality screening is the proof. I have high cholesterol and I'm now in the boundary of pre-diabetes. So yeah, I need to lower my weight, to exercise and have a healthy diet that I might need to cut down on rice. Another is invest in mental health and personal development. When I started reading this year, I can really see the difference from my 2022 work life. I don't get to absorb with any work-related anxiety or stress because my mind is elsewhere while reading a book. This year, I've read 21 books and I'm on my 22nd book. I'm subscribed to a book club and they have challenges that reward you. I achieved the book boss challenge of reading 15 books and for 2024, I'll go for the challenge crusher that requires reading 30 books. I also want to start a new hobby. I want to relearn crochet. I used to do it when I was a kid and now I want to do it again. It would be nice to give holiday gifts made of crochet for some personal touch. And who knows, I might be able to make money out from it too. And I want to also learn a new language, Spanish. We have a lot of Spanish speaking patients and it would really be beneficial to get to talk and understand them using their language. The Filipino language has some borrowed Spanish words so I think it wouldn't be that hard. That's it. To my 6,040 plus subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in and for the huge support. Your messages, comments, and suggestions have been my means of inspiration and motivation, not just in uploading more videos, but also in my daily journey as a dialysis nurse. 2024 will definitely be better. So if you enjoyed and learned something from this video, click like, leave a comment for some video suggestion, and subscribe to my channel and be part of, who knows, 10,000 subscribers for 2024. See you next year.